All right, so it's been a couple weeks. I don't know if y'all could tell. I've lost some weight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't lose any weight. Anyways, we uh, we got this all inside here prepped. And Jeff, get a good look in there. We got all that prepped. We got the edges rolled back so that when we lay everything in, we can get our fiberglass to adhere. We can get everything laid in where we need to. Now, if you see this piece here, it did look like this with the nice hard edges. You do not want to lay this on top of that to, or on top of this hole. This one piece here is for this hole here. You do not want to lay that on there like that for the first layer by any means. Um, you want to take this and all you have to do to be able to get this like to look a little bit different is just tear the edge here. You know, tear the edge as you're going around and it'll get a little bit of hair sticking out. You know, you can spread that out and that's that's kind of thinner, right? So that's going to help bond a lot better. Now we're using, this is ounce and a half. So it's a little bit thicker than we sh maybe should use for this, but it works. So we're trying to get this all out here, get us a nice little edge all the way around. Let's see, get the moving right here. All right, so then this piece here, this is for that hole there. So that way we can, we're going to lay our first layer in. Then we're gonna lay those on top of that first layer. And then we got our piece of kusa, this right over here. We're gonna lay our piece of kusa in on top of there. Once we put our next one in, and then that's gonna be the end of our fiberglass that we're gonna We're gonna get this thing set in there. We're gonna get us some ballast set down on it. And then we'll come back in the morning and I'll start laying the next layers. But for now, I just wanna get this bonded in there and then let's go around to the bench. The last we saw, we already had everything set up for we already had everything set up for the night decor all in here and all we're gonna do if you roll in here you see it we just made sure that we got all those pores blown out all those little spots like where the little divots are and we did get some more information and this was kind of interesting to me this was kind of interesting to me is that uh, on the remember how we said this was delaminating and it was because if you look at how they use a chopper gun that chopper gun where it's got glass strand coming down into it and it just chops it and sprays it out with a mixture of resin they don't spray enough resin out onto that board for it to adhere to it so it was sat down on the top side it was adhered but on the bottom side here where they just took that chopper gun and sprayed across it it sealed it but it, it didn't adhere to it so what they should have done for anybody that's doing it with wood what you should do is you have to wet out the resin you have to get that thing and just keep soaking it and keep soaking it and keep soaking it and you can use a roller and roll that resin onto it you have to keep going until that resin stops absorbing and it's probably a good 20 30 minute process to keep going and keep going and you're going to use a lot a lot more resin using wood because you want it to adhere to it you want it to to soak into the to the fibers of the wood and then once you lay that fiberglass across there it'll stick so that's something that everybody should be aware of. But we don't have that problem. We got Nidacor. So we're going to get started. We're going to set up the tripod and probably give you all a time lapse of this. Uh, and then you'll see what we got going on here. So we got our first layer is going to be some 1708 with the uh, glass strand side down. And you can see that's the 1708. So it's got the woven on the one side and then it's got the glass strand on the other. Now when we adhere to anything, we want this side down to adhere to it, right? So what we're gonna do is once we get this woven side and we get this thing wet out really good, we're gonna lay one more layer. We got, uh, it's right here. Uh, we're gonna lay some of this ounce and a half glass strand. We're just gonna lay it across the top of the woven and then we'll put our Nidacore on there. We'll get all our pieces set. We'll make sure that it's gonna be adhered good. Probably put a little extra resin in a couple areas just to make sure that it's good. Uh, that it's going to adhere, that it's going to stick to it really well. And then as soon as we're done with that, then uh, we're going to lay some gravel across this. And I might go get the, uh, we might see if we can carry this over there underneath the carport for the night. Uh, but we're definitely going to turn the sprinklers off. Because the sprinklers on the yard, we don't want that spraying in the middle of the night. Anyways, we're going to get to it. We'll set up the tripod and we'll, uh, we'll let y'all watch us do this.
as you guys can see here we are wetting out the fiberglass just to kind of fill some of those porous holes and get it to where we're not going to go to a dry surface then we wet out the glass side you know flip it over put the glass side back down so that we've got the woven up and you can see all those air bubbles in there and we'll get to that in just a second All right, so you guys see all this, the white spots? That's air that's trapped in there. Now, somebody just did a video a couple weeks ago, and they showed redoing their Carolina Skiff, something or another, and it was a, they're up in Maryland, and they do things a lot different than we do, which when I say a lot different, I mean that when it dried, there was still air bubbles in there, and what happens to air when it gets hot? It expands, so it delaminates stuff. So taking a roller and you see how it pushes that air out, you know, we can maneuver this around and keep going with that roller. And you see the roller, it's got, it's got lines in it to where it pushes this stuff down. But that guy, he's going to have some problems later in life. He did some repairs that it was not that great and not to be salty about it, but he got a bunch of views on them videos. So he taught people, a lot of people, the wrong way to do something. And that to me... It's just, that's unacceptable. You know, we go the extra mile. We don't need 1708 on this. We do not need 1708 on this whatsoever. But, you know, we know that we're going to have a perfect product at the end that we're not going to have to worry about strength on it. And we're going to be able to do it with less time involved. So, anyways, we're going to get to uh, our second layer here and then lay the Nidacore in. So... We'll put you back on hyperlapse. I just wanted to show you all the air, pushing the air out and seeing that we wouldn't have any air bubbles whatsoever in this product when we're done with it. So. We got this piece in here. Get down in there, Jeff. Get a good look. All right, so you see we, we wet out the one side, and then we set that face down. Now I'm fixing to grab the little bit of resin we have left, and I'm just going to put a little bit around the outside. And then I'm going to grab some, some rock, the gravel we were talking about, and I'm going to put it across here, kind of hold that down to that deck and weight that thing down. And that way we get a good edge all the way around, a good solid glued edge. All right, now let me get some gravel. There's some pine needles in there too, that's unfortunate. But, as I get some more gravel, I'll lay it in there and then we'll be able to pull that off there tomorrow. All right, that's our uh, finished product for tonight with that. And if you come around here, Jeff, this is gonna be our finished product for this tonight because well, as we were wetting it out, our, our uh, resin started to kick. So before we try and lay anything on top of it, we're just gonna let it ride. And I think what we might do is go ahead and take that and we'll put us a layer of chop strand on the top there. So we'll look at that as we go, but I'm gonna clean up that edge just a little bit more and this is why I was saying that you don't want you don't want a solid hard edge and if you do you want to run it past so you see that edge how it's like you know it looks a little whitish so I'm gonna to have to hit it with some resin we still got that last little bit there I'm gonna get that smoothed out just a little bit and put a little more resin in there because it's just it's pulling away from it a little bit but when you do that where you pull the fibers loose and you get you a little bit of an easier edge there it's not a thick piece adhering to that edge, so any transition you go from new glass to old, 
it's a lot easier to do. So we're gonna get to this. We're gonna fix up a couple little spots here and then uh, we'll come back and show you the night of core tomorrow. As you guys can see, I already started to clean up that thickened edge because of how thick this uh, 1708 is and then trying to get it attached to this. I smoothed this out to where, you know, if you run your finger across that, you can kind of see that, I think. You can see where it's got like, it's it's a raised edge, and I don't want this sitting on the sitting on the top of the, the deck over there. Um, I don't want to have that sitting there and rubbing, so I'm going to give me a, a little bit of time, and I'm going to smooth that off. And as we put glass strand on there, the thinner glass strand, it'll, it'll come out a lot smoother. Um, now, yesterday... We started with this thing and uh, resin started to kick, started to gel up. So I knew I wasn't gonna mess with it much longer. And I tried to work this edge a little bit more, a little bit more, and you can see like, there's a little bit of white there. Now it's bonded. I tried to stick a knife behind there and it's bonded good, but I don't trust it. So like I was saying, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Because if you just pile more fiberglass on top of that, and you can see it's like, it's already been sanded here, sanded smooth. Um, and if you pile more on top of that, you're not going to end up with anything else adhering below it. Once it's like that there, everything below it, everything you put on top, it's all going to come out of there when it finally does. So if you can see here, I'm going to grind this a little bit out. I'm going to grind this edge back. And you see here on this edge, right there where it turns to the fiberglass look, that's what you want to see. I already knew this was going to be the case because using that thick 1708, but I needed to get this bottom here. I needed to get this thing strengthened up quite a bit because if you can see, look right there. That looks like your grandma's legs, like her calves, you know what I mean? And uh, it's because we got all these cracks here. So we're going to have to do some, some work. And I tried to keep this, but yesterday as I was sitting here and I, I was trying to get it all set up, as I as I was laying this thing down, it was picking up just a little bit on that side and it wasn't gonna lay flat. So last night, so that I had that thing flipped over, that was my weight to keep that thing down in the center. And now it's a nice, perfectly flat surface here. So all the way across, and this thing's actually got a lot more strength than it did. And I'm talking about a ton more than it did. That 1708 is some good stuff. But because it's thick, you know, it, it does cause issues of, you know, the bonding on the sides there, you know? trying to get that there but it's not hard for me to peel that off there with a grinder and then lay the glass mat over it the next step so anyways that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this ground out like we did this side and then if you look over here I started to do this but this is gonna get cut out because we got to put our switches in there and everything and so what I was gonna show you this is you see how this hole is open right we didn't fill that hole in with the glass this one we did, we put glass down in there and we started to fill that hole. And the only reason we were doing that was pretty much just to show y'all, cause these are gonna get cut right back out so that we can put the steering in down here and the radio goes in here. That side's gonna be electrical. But if you were to try to patch this hole from here, now that we got the backside, you would grind this all off here, get down to the fiberglass, get rid of this gel coat. Once you get rid of that gel coat and you get down to bare fiberglass, I would take a piece and I would cut it in here and make it a perfect circle. Now, remember what we said about pulling the edge and kind of making it a nice edge to kind of go out to pass it. I would cut this with a pair of scissors and just stick it in there. And I would honestly probably do like two layers like that, just one right over another and then do one more around and over it. But the one that comes out here, then I'm gonna to try to blend. This one where it goes out and around the circle I would use that same technique of pulling the fibers out and making it to where it's a nice smooth transition edge. But because this is already like, you can see it, it's already got a little lip there. You could put that in there, put a little resin in there, not have any issues. But this one's the same thing. You know, we got a little bit of a, an edge around there where we didn't get enough resin in. Which you can actually see the white around the edge of that hole right there. That's air. But like I said, we were just doing this to kind of show the difference between this of just laying it right over it on the backside and then trying to put us a piece in there and fill it in. So anyways, we just wanted to show you that and I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get that thing all prepped up. And when we get that thing prepped up, 
we'll come back and I'll show you laying in the night core. All right, so as you can see, I got my brace pieces in there. I got this all set in there. Unfortunately, the phone fell off the tripod and the tripod broke. So I wasn't able to show you the process, but all I did for this was I just took this, um, I took this, this Nidacore and I wet the one side and then I laid it in there. And as I started getting it in there, I'm like, you know what? I'll just put me some pieces on here. I got this block down here on the end. And this piece, that's just holding that down to glue that edge down a little bit better. So that I filled a little bit inside, a little bit in the side. And there's plenty of, plenty of resin under there to fill in all the voids. But it's holding all those pieces out to the sides here. So what we'll do is we'll come back after this. We already got our other layer of glass laid down there on the bottom. We put our Nidacore in there. And then when we come back, we'll just glass over all this. And like this edge right here, we'll just take the thickened resin and go over that. That way, it's more of a of a smooth transitioned edge. But when we do that one, we can go underneath and we can put our thickened around the, the edge of that Kusa board that's in there. That way we do it all in one shot. So anyway, I'm going to let this kick. It'll take a couple hours. I'm going to go do a couple other little projects. And uh, we'll come back and show you what the final product was. All right, so... We got this here. We're going to do us a nice little edge with some uh, thickened resin. And you can see here we use an aerosol. 48 ounces of resin has absorbed the majority of that gallon there. So, or is that a gallon? I think that's a gallon, yeah. So it's gathered the majority of that. And you can see it's in there. So we'll be able to like start switching this up. You can see it's thick. So we're going to spread it in here along these edges give us a nice edge to go to that way all of our transitions will be nice and easy with the, the uh, glass so mainly we're just going to do down here in the bottom edges and then we'll we'll just try to fill that top edge just a little bit but I'm gonna get a uh, squeegee out of the shop for uh, like a bondo squeegee and I'm gonna use that and I also have a putty knife over here that I'm gonna use so I'll come back after I get a little bit started uh, since I don't have the tripod, I can't set up on a time lapse, but you'll see the idea when I get done. All right, if you can see, we got a nice thickened edge all the way around there. Nice thickened resin. We're going to smooth that off just a little bit more here in a minute. It's starting to gel up already, so now it's a little bit easier to work with. But you can see, we've got us a nice line all the way down through there. A nice transition all the way around there, all the way around here. And we had just enough to finish everything we needed to do if we included this here so we've got a nice edge all the way around there and here in a minute when this sets up just a little bit more i'll go ahead and i'll hit that those edges and just clean them up just a little bit just get those high spots going you see i already did this here and how i did that <laughs> i wasted a putty knife i think but not really because i ground that edge over right went in there and i was able to drag that thing along and it's just like icing in the cake. Just spread that stuff along. You see we did the top edge of all the Nidacore, so it sealed all of the uh, sealed all of the top edges here to make that a nice smooth flat transition. So now when we lay our fiberglass in there and across, it's gonna lay into that edge and it'll be a perfect little edge. There won't be any voids underneath it, no spots of air, nothing that can ever take that, like build air and grow a little bit in there. So I think this is gonna be it for this weekend. It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm fixing to have to head back down to Sarasota. But I'll just come back next weekend, and I'll show you putting the glass into here, how to make that look really good. So if y'all will, like and subscribe to the videos. Um, I'm hoping that we can keep growing. We, uh, we're almost to 300. We got a pretty good little, little burst this weekend. So uh, hopefully we can keep going, and we'll keep doing some videos for y'all and try to help the little guy. That way... Everybody can do these projects just like we're doing and save us all some money and keep us all on the water.